Welcome to my review of Tamiya's 148 scale P51B Mustang. When you open the box with the beautiful box art, you will find the plastic sprue safely packed in plastic bags, with the instructions underneath. The kit is from 1995 and comes with three different marking options, two in olive trap and neutral grey, and one in natural metal finish. The typical Tamiya instructions are printed in black and white and take you through the build step by step. If you follow the steps, even a beginner should be successful. The differences between the buildable variants are well highlighted and the marking options are shown individually. Basically, you just have to choose the right antenna and exhaust variant for the respective marking option. The kit decals are a bit thick, but have a good color quality. Let's look at the parts. The kit contains two main sprues and the separate clear parts. The design and the number of parts show the simplicity of the model, which is not a criticism. The fuselage shows sharp recessed panel lines and some larger rivets, but there is no complete rivet structure. The seated pilot figure shows the age of the kit a little and could be more detailed. The instrument panel is also a bit basic. You can choose between additional fuel tanks and bombs as payload. Two exhaust options are available. The cockpit floor has nice details, although I am not sure if this is shown correctly. The details in the interior are there, but there is enough room for some improvement. The wings are just as nicely detailed as the fuselage. Flaps and gear doors have the necessary details and fit perfectly in the extended and retracted position. The wheels and the landing gear follow a simple design and are convincing. Overall, the kit offers good details and a very good fit. The clear parts are nice and clear. Two different canopies are included and you can display the cockpit open. I built this kit recently and I would like to show a few aftermarket parts that are used. Montex Mask is a company from Poland and unfortunately not available for many retailers. The Super Mask set comes with mask for the clear parts and mask to spray two different marking options. The packaging contains a short instruction manual and several sheets with the vinyl masks. The masks are very stable and are precisely cut. Problems only occur with strong curves and protruding details because the masks are very stiff. If you can get them, just try them out. I was definitely amazed at how well sprayed markings looked compared to decals. As I said, the details in the interior are pretty basic. Therefore, an Edward P set helps a lot to increase the level of detail. Even with the pilot figure inside, you can see the instrument panel and parts of the side walls, so in my opinion the effort is worth it. Here are a few pictures of the installed Edward set. The kit is old, but it's Tamiya and it's a Mustang, so why not give it a try? For a fair price, you get a kit that still fits very well. I can highly recommend the kit for beginners or anyone who wants a straightforward, entertaining build that doesn't take up a ton of time. Advanced users can use the kit as a good basis for further detailing, and the in-flight presentation is very easy to implement. Everyone else knows where to find a new, maximum detailed Mustang. Thank you for watching the review. You can find the full build of the model on my channel. I would be happy to see you there again. Until next time, bye.